Good morning, everybody. This is your Edward Catallo speaking. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to clip something, some vector or other source uh, using QGIS. Before doing that, I wanna show you our new intro. So let's give it a chance and we'll be back in a few seconds. Okay, here we are. So let's back to our QGIS. I'll have loaded a building layer, which is very large. As you can see, it takes a while to render. And you can see the tiles getting rendered here. Okay, we can zoom in into a place. This could be okay. I don't know which place, place it is. So maybe we can add some background so we can see uh, uh, the open street map. It's the city of Udine in the northeast of Italy. So I'll switch it off. The idea is to click, uh, is to clip the portion of a large um, vector dataset as you um, can uh, improve performance like the, uh, using this technique or just uh, extract data if you need it. In our case, I'm doing this because I, I want to have a small portion of this data and uh, I will use it in the, in the following tutorials. I, I've already done this, but I want to do this uh, with you so you can know how to do it. The fir first thing to do, we can zoom in another bit, is to create a cutting polygon. You can do it um, using a new vector, so you can add a new layer, or you can add a vector layer, but we can um, also import it on some something uh, like that. So um, you can have it in a file where you have the the area to cut off, or you can draw it. We will draw it right now. So we uh, we create a new temporary scratch layer from the create layer entry in the layer menu. Let's click this. Okay. Let's call the layer like clip. And the geometry type will be polygon. We don't need to include the, the dimension or M values. At the moment we can use the same uh, CRS of the map, there are also no need to add the fields or uh, other things. I'll be back on this uh, in the future, so for now just click OK. Now we have a, a new layer called the clip. Um, we can change the color, making it red. So it's easily um, visible. And you can just draw the, the polygon using, using the, the, the tools that QGIS brings you. But also you can click, the, you can use the geometric um, digit, digitizer 
and to have it you just need to right click on the panel and to add the toolbar the toolbar is not the digitizing one um, but not the nor the advanced digitizing toolbar but the shape digitizing toolbar which adds these nice controls just click the rectangle you can choose between uh, many type from center a point three points uh, per, um, from distance and projected rectangle for extent rectangle from extent it draw, draws a polygon based on your viewpoint so it's really useful but for the moment we will use the rectangle from center and a point so just click and move your cursor like you want and one, once you are okay just right click and a polygon will appear we can stop editing using the toggle editing button it ask you it will ask you if you want to save yes please and then we can clip the JS or OSM buildings A31 layer using the okay the geoprocessing tools under the vector menu with the clip option it will open up a dialog like input layer we have to choose the layer to be clipped so the the buildings one and like the overlay layer the our clip we have already created we can save the result on uh, a file or we can add it like a temporary layer i'll leave it the temporary layer option set well let's click run and then we see that execution completed and the algorithm finished so we close the dialog and we can switch off the the building layer and the clip layer and we can see we have our clip done if we have some building in the border we can edit and uh, remove them but um, there is no need uh, at this moment if we open the attributes we will see that uh, everything is preserved so it clip um, things but keeping attributes in place in if you see in um, in the layer panel we have a chip icon that tell us that uh, this layer is temporary right click on the layer and click make permanent to save the the clipped layer save it like you want and then mm, give it a file name give it a, a format your package or ship file is okay give it a name and click ok that's all and it's quite easy to, to do uh, very useful now you can see that it's quite uh, instantaneously instant, instant uh, I don't remember how to do that okay it's immediate okay so no no more lags like it was doing before because uh, we if you just need a small portion of a file you can clip it and you can enjoy it um, at full speed so this tip this tip is is done i hope you you like it uh, remember to subscribe and to like this video add your comments and uh, see you to the next episode